What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Boogie to nine eight eight coming at you live once again. Um, my girlfriend is out of town, and that means I'm kind of completely on my own when it comes to what I eat, and what I do. I'm used to having her around, helping me out with uh, making sure that I watch what I do, watch what I eat. Um, she helps prepare most of the meals, yeah, probably all of them. And uh, what she does, obviously, she's helping me count calories and stuff. Um, uh, but now I'm really only accountable to myself, and I have been for the past three days, and for the past three days I've actually nailed it. Um, so I'm really proud of it, um, really proud of myself for getting them, uh, keeping the motivation and keeping things going. And she won't be back uh, till Wednesday, I think, maybe Thursday. <clears throat> and so I've got a lot of days left to screw up, but I don't plan to do it. Um, it's been difficult keeping motivated, um, especially when my friends have invited me out for dinner or my friends have offered to feed me their dinner of course I have to eat very small portions of it if I eat with my friends or I have to eat things I'm not used to eating on the menu um, I have to very very narrowly do it and then I have to talk about it this is one of the most frustrating things to tell my friends well I'm finally starting to watch what I eat and a lot of them are very responsive very supportive but at the same time they want to ask questions they want to talk about it. Well, what are you doing why are you doing it that way how do you do it what about the Atkins diet what about eating nothing but uh, green beans for 48 hours a day you know or whatever um, <clears throat> it's frustrating but it's I, I love the sport of uh, my friends so don't get me wrong uh, but at the same time, it's it's weird because um, I've never done it before in my life, and everybody I know they have to be thinking, really, really, you look like um, um, uh, you look like an elephant, and you're watching your weight now, uh, about ten years ago. But I I digress. One of the things that's really been difficult to be motivated to do is exercise. Um, and there's some safety issues even there. I, I hate the idea of going to the pool alone. I hate the idea of, of getting out in my car that has no air conditioning in this 100 degree weather. Um, and I worry about it and I worry about my safety during it. I worry that if I get too exhausted to the pool, which I have, it will be terribly difficult to get home. But I'm going to go today. I got this cool underwater MP3 player that connects to my goggles. I loaded it full of some songs. Um, and I'm eager to try it out. It's actually a, a gift from my girlfriend's mom. Uh, it's something that I really wanted, and so she bought it for me. Thank you, Linda. Um, so I'm going to go give that a shot today and see if it's fun. Anything that motivates me to get to the pool, because uh, I have not been there now in about four and a half days, and that's a mistake. Uh, because I need to be in there every other day or close to it. So I'm going to go get it done. I'm going to go get a little more weight off of me if I can and then I'm gonna try to not stop at any of the fast food establishments I pass on the way home I think last count there's uh, let's see when there's a one college there's 2914 fast food establishments between here and my gym I'm pretty sure that's the accurate number um, and I'm not gonna eat at any of them if I do I'm gonna get a chicken sandwich mmm chicken sandwich 